the Shelby County Humane Society now considering changing their policy on euthanasia. That's right, Shelby County Humane leaders have tried to avoid euthanasia for years, but continue to struggle with overcrowding. Our Shelby County reporter, Ajene Robinson, is live with how the Humane Society is considering a new euthanasia policy. Ajene, this is something we hate to hear. Yeah, Jennifer, something that I think breaks everybody's heart to hear. But, you know, right now, Shelby Humane leaders, they are working on a new draft um, policy in the next two weeks um, because at this point they say that they're so overcrowded that they have no other choice but to consider euthanizing some animals. So we're rethinking what's the most humane thing to do. Now, Shelby Humane is considering starting with a medical and behavioral assessment for each animal, especially those who have been at the shelter for over 15 days. We'll look at the state of their medical care, their weight, how are they doing, if they're exhibiting any um, uh, abnormal behavior, stereotypical behavior of the dog, and if they are, those are likely going to be the ones that are not going to do well, even if we get them out. Their current policy tries to rehabilitate every dog that comes in, but they have a number of dogs that have been with them for over a year. Because you have some dogs that are just, they're very hard to place because they don't like other dogs, they don't like kids, they don't like, you know, they do, and you can work on that, but then you have to find the perfect family. So a lot of time their lengths of stays get longer. And leaders say changing the policy could help with the shelter's staffing issues and disease control. But when you get parvo in a kennel, then a lot of times you have to limit your adoptions and you limit your transports because it's a transmissible disease. It's crowded in anything, a jail, a nursing home, doesn't matter. It's easier to spread a, a disease, even though we've done everything we can to clean and all that stuff. Now, donations of pee pads, newspapers, thin blankets, puppy and kitten formula are needed, as well as volunteers ready to get their hands dirty. Now, Shelby Humane still has the goal of getting these animals adopted, fostered, or transferred to avoid euthanasia. But to learn more about what the Shelby Humane is doing and how you can help, go to this story in our WBRC News app.